Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to add or break the in-context relationships while doing a top-down assembly modeling. Here I have a simple part. I want to create a new part on this face and I'll use the Convert Entities feature to kind of create a handle here. Once the sketch is done, let's extrude it and give it a dimension of 70 millimeters. And I can also add a draft angle here for, of 3 degrees. Once complete, let's exit out of the edit part mode and rebuild if necessary. Once rebuild is complete, you'll notice an arrow symbol in the tree in front of your part. Let's open this part separately and analyze this arrow symbol. If I expand the feature, you'll notice the same arrow symbol is in front of your sketch. Let's edit the sketch. Under display delete relationships, I can search by defined in context and delete all the relationships that pop up. In this particular case, the on edge relationships from the convert entities is defined in context. Let's go ahead and delete it. Once we delete this relationship, the sketch becomes undefined, underdefined. And I can use my fully defined sketch tool to fully define my sketch. Once that's complete, let's exit the sketch. And you'll notice the error symbol goes away. If you switch back to the assembly mode, you might need to rebuild your assembly and once you do that you'll notice the error symbol in your assembly is also gone and this would be the one way of uh, the user to delete the in-context relationships within the sketch mode within the sketches well I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching mm -hmm.